hello from Cuenca. So we have just arrived to Cuenca and the vibe is really, really amazing. The city is beautiful and yesterday we went out for the dinner and we just ended up in this tech party on like in the square like for people from the government. So yeah, so far the vibe in Cuenca has been absolutely amazing. We were told that this is kind of like the safest city in Ecuador and we really, really feel safe here. I mean, yesterday we went out for the late dinner and we came back like during the night and we felt completely fine, completely safe. I mean, there always are some suspicious looking people and there was this one guy shouting at me, but I don't think, I, don't, I didn't took it personally. I think he was just shouting at everyone. So yeah, you always get that kind of a people everywhere. But uh, so far, a very, very good impression about the Cuenca, very safe feeling, really, really beautiful city. Let me show you this beautiful city and things you have to include in your must-see and do in Cuenca. should have looked and this how it looks now yellow building is owned by the richest people in Cuenca historically it was like the best parties of course were there but now it's made into commercial area and it has loads of really nice cafes
is full of museums. You definitely have to visit at least one. The one that uh, locals really recommended us is Puma Pongo Museum, which kind of covers everything. And it was really, really interesting. We went there. The only problem that everything was only in Spanish and French, which was great for me because I had the chance to practice my Spanish. But if you don't understand anything in Spanish, it might, you might not enjoy it as much. But there are so many amazing museums in Cuenca, Cuenca and I'm gonna list them all on my blog and the link will be in the description. So I have to mention, I actually haven't left the house in Cuenca without a hat because the sun here is so, so strong. I mean, it's probably because of the altitude and we're closer to the sun, but like here specifically in Cuenca, like I can't leave the house without sunglasses or a hat. And one very interesting museum, actually there are a few about that, that I want to mention is the Panama Hat Museum uh, because I want to break it to you. Panama Hat actually doesn't come from Panama, it comes from Ecuador and especially here from Cuenca. So basically when the, uh, when the Panama Canal was built, Ecuador sent these hats to these workers, you know, to protect them from the sun. And President Roosevelt from America went to see the construction site, like the hat, wore the hat, appeared with the hat on the TV and then everyone started to ask and he just said, oh, it's the Panama Hat. So that's how the story has uh, involved but actually really these hats were made in Ecuador here in Cuenca and they were sent to the workers so yes you will find many different museums about the origins of this hat. A must do in Cuenca is to try their hot springs. They are not too far from the old town it's only like a 20 minute taxi drive around five dollars we went to Piedra de la Agua because it was highly recommended online and I still think it's a great place but I just want to warn you that in general in Ecuador what you see online, the price lists you see online not always match um, the reality when you go there and that's what happened with us. Cuenca is the Turi viewpoint. To get up here you will need a taxi but once you are up here you will find many nice cafes from where to enjoy the beautiful view. we actually discovered some really lovely cafes some cafes with a really good Wi-Fi where to work and uh, just some really good breakfast places so I want to share with you some of my personal favorites Natural Park, which is absolutely incredible natural park here in Ecuador. It's one of the most biodiverse parks here in Andes and it was on my list to definitely visit. But now this weekend when we are here, there has been a lot of rain before and there has been some landslides on the road. So the road that goes to this natural park is ruined. And so the buses are completely cancelled. There are no buses going to the natural park. So the only way how we can get there is by taxi if any taxi will take us there. And the taxi obviously it's like a 40 minute ride so the taxi is going to be at least $20 which is quite expensive because we have to get back so it's $20 more. Also even if we can take a taxi here from the town there is no guarantee that we're gonna find a taxi from the natural park because people really don't go there now you know the roads are ruined there are landslides people don't really go there now it's just the tourists like us that are here for a few days and we really want to go. So unfortunately we're not gonna go because I just don't want to end up there not being able to get back home 
and yeah so we will have to miss on this one but if you are in Cuenca and it's a good weather and there are no issues definitely take a bus to Caja Natural Park it's absolutely wonderful you definitely have to add it to your Cuenca to-do list if you enjoyed this video give it a like and subscribe because next I'm going to the coast of Ecuador so I'm really excited to show you that part of the country